Hey, what is up guys? Welcome to RAM Overload and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to delete your hybrid file um, and even what that even is if you guys don't know. Um, it's probably taking up a lot of space on your computer and you don't even know it. So this is a quick and easy way to remove um, said file. So the way you want to first check how big your file is, is you want to download a program like TreeSize or other programs that basically can tell you what size each file is and for hidden files as well. So I already have this downloaded. Um, you, I do have a video series on the best um, programs, the top five, I believe, best programs that are free to check out um, the hard drive space on your computer. So maybe you can check that out. So I have this downloaded. Let's open it up and I will use my C drive because that's the one running out of space. These two are external drives. That's a USB drive, that's just an external hard drive. But C is my main computer hard drive, which you can see only has like 19 gigs free left. So let's select this folder. Um, uh, okay, I don't. you can run it as admin if you want, but you guys can see over here, I have this thing that's 26 gigabytes, right? And from there, 19 is from a file called hyperfile.sys. And basically what this file is, is when you put your computer on Hibernate, it stores everything you had open, all the information, it stores it into files. So then when you reboot your computer, everything is able to, when you start, your, start up your computer again, everything is able to load up and open whatever you had closed. So most of you probably, or some of you probably don't even have Hibernate enabled on your computer. Um, you probably had it enabled like once in the past and not anymore for some reason. But the way you can verify that is click on Windows. I'm using Windows 10, so if you're using Windows, uh, I mean, I'm using Windows 11, so if you're using Windows 10, it should be perfectly fine. So what you want to do is uh, hold the power or press it, and these a couple options should come up. So you can see I have Hibernate here, but I really don't use it. it pro I probably used it once, and then this file has been there ever since, right? And I need the space. I have like 19 gigs left. Um, so let, let's try to remove this file. So you can't just go here and delete it. I don't think it'll work. Um, it'll give you some errors and stuff. But if you want to look at where it actually is, so let's look, open up my C drive. You can see it should be over here, um, but you cannot see it because it's a hidden file. And the way to be able to see it is you want to go to folder options. You want to just search that and it should come up. File Explorer options, go to view and you want to uncheck this hide protected operating system files you get like a, a warning message just press okay yes All right apply and here we can see my hybrid file that sys is right here as well as page file um, we'll get to that afterwards but a hybrid file is right here you can see 20 gigs so the way to remove it is uh, you can't just right click and delete it if you want um, I don't think that that will work or at least that's not the proper way to do it okay uh, the proper way is you want to open up CMD command prompt and let's go oh my bad all right we're here and the command you want to run is this minus h off so this basically will disable hibernate on your computer Okay, and when you disable it, it will remove that file as well. Okay, all right, uh, you need to be admin. So let me just open it again. Right here, command prompt, run as administrator. All right, we have this here. Let's copy the command again. Um, I, I don't think you have to be in the root directory of the C, so it can work wherever you are. All right, you can see nothing happened. Um, well, this uh, something happened, but um, you're able to type again. That means whatever needed to happen, happened. And you can see over here, let me refresh it. You can see that the page file or um, the hybrid file does not exist anymore. And now let's check our hard drive. You can see if it went from 19 to 38 gigs. 
So that's basically how you do it. You know, it's pretty simple and easy. Um, pretty much anyone can do it. Uh, you guys are probably wondering what the page file is as well. So page file is basically if or when your computer needs more RAM, right? Um, that it, it basically stores some information on the hard drive. So rather than the RAM, so it, it's kind of the hard drive is kind of used as a RAM for um, whatever extra information you need. Um, seven gig is not too bad for me. I really I'll just probably leave it alone. Um, but the way you can see, I mean, I can probably remove it because I really don't need it. But the way you can see that whether your page file is being used constantly is you can open up Task Manager. So the way the shortcut for that is Control Shift Escape, and uh, Task Manager will sh show up and go on Performance. So you can see I have like 47. 48 gigs of RAM, right? Um, and I usually hover around, what is this, like 22? I think the max I seen it go up to was like 35 maybe, right? So it's it's pretty low for me. I never reach 100%. So I can kind of get rid of page file, but um, I'll, I'll leave it for now because it's not too bad like the hybrid file. So yeah, that's pretty much it. You know, let me know if you guys have any question or comments. You know, leave it in the leave it down below. Um, I'd love to hear what you guys' thoughts are. You know, if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.